ஹன்சிகாவின் லவ் ஷாதி டிராமா இன்றைய காணுங்கள் உங்கள் டிஸ்னி பிளஸ் ஹாட்ஸ்டாரல் எல்லாருக்கும் வணக்கம் முதல்ல பிளீஸ் எனக்கு மன்னிச்சுடுங்க I think it's an extremely important film because it shows what the victim goes through when the act is happening and just how much a person breaks psychologically and goes to a point where they give up and say do whatever you want with me but just leave me here because they don't want to die it's a life threatening situation and i cannot even imagine what happens when somebody is really in a situation like that because i felt that through this film and to this day i haven't forgotten the impact that it has left on me uh, while i was shooting for this film or a rumba challenging time for me to come out of the film also it took me a few months to fully forget all the pain that it it had caused i knew i was acting but after 2 3 days i started forgetting who i was and i just became the girl who is kidnapped and and is trapped in the car amidst all these all these people and for the rest uh, thank you so much her sir for the opportunity um, he did not even take my audition for this film about which i am very shocked because uh, usually you know everybody likes to take an audition and go ahead but he said no i want you and he was very set uh in in terms of having me so i'm very grateful that he had that faith in me in return it also helped me have a lot of faith in him and he has delivered and how i think he is an amazing director and i had a great time working with you sir thank you so much to the rest of the cast and crew thank you so much for being so supportive on set and my one and only wish uh, in the padathula is that i hope that it finds its audience and makes the kind of impact that we are hoping that it does Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Andavan Kattalai, Sivalinga, Omai Kadoolai Kappara in the past. Why you are you not choosing many films? Why are you not choosing many films? No, I don't have a lot of ass in Tamil. I'm telling you. But I'm a bit of a I want to wait for the right script. Um, like whenever I do films, I want to go back home from a set and, and think, oh, I had a great time. Because I don't know whether the film will be a hit or a flop. All I... all i know is i want to enjoy my journey to the final destination so i am i would love to do tamil films na ipo nalla tamil pesren kathikiren slowly slowly enakku full flow la one day i want to speak tamil and that's my goal for now so as and when the right script comes i'll definitely do more of them okay guys <laughs> thank you ninga um i would love to do comedy Uh, I think I think I'd be very I'll fit there because I'm a very goofy person naturally and I have a lot of this energy and I feel like a comedy film will utilize it really well uh, also an action film with guns and cars and bikes I think it will be great something like a fast and furious or a wonder woman so of the bat I can think of those kind of films I think our aim is all over India la nariya state la innum und sexual abusement rape la nadandide irukku personally ya நீங்க வந்து என்ன ஹையஸ்ட் பனிஷ்மென்ட் கொடுக்கங்க நீங்க நினைக்கிறீங்க ஐ will personally go and give them punishment i cannot stand it it absolutely breaks my heart every time i open my twitter every time i go to my twitter home i think there are at least 5 6 news articles that i see 8 month old baby 3 months old baby like people are absolutely merciless and ruthless and they deserve the exact same treatment in return it absolutely boils my blood like i i i could not even come up with an answer to this because it makes me very angry that people think that we are all toys for their pleasure you know and this happens to men women all kinds of people it's just that men i'm glad that now they have a platform slowly people are starting to come forward and speak their truth their truth but it happens more often than we know of and uh, i mean I, i don't think any punishment is enough for such people uh 
okay now or or sol red because you asked me this question he saying uh, why you are coming late he yeah, asking yeah, start good. early no sir i'll show you a message okay now i'm going to speak the truth my team told me now the satyam i sol red show you a message we were supposed to be here at 9 pm now hotel keela he'll say i was there at 8:50 i was here around 9:00 I was here on time because we were given 9 p.m. for Chennai Express meet. I would never ever do this. I reached my hotel at 7:15 p.m. Yeah, they told me 9 p.m. Now, this I don't know. I'll show you messages in my phone. I have proof. I will not lie like this. Sorry, okay, pa. Confusion. I am genuinely sorry. It is. I mean, it's it's their fault because they miscommunicated, and I am to take take blame for this. And I don't like this because I respect you guys a lot. You put in so much effort. You put in so much time to do this for us. So I am genuinely from the bottom of my heart sorry, extremely sorry. But this happened because of a very severe miscommunication. And before I even got on stage, I was extremely angry. I told my team, I said, this is not done. This is inefficiency on your part, and I will look bad in front of the press. So I am genuinely manichudenge. This will never happen again. I will henceforth. I'll be extra careful and ask my team ten times what is the what is the correct time to be there. Because I was told umbod maniki, and I was there at at the right time. So I'm I'm very sorry. According to what time they gave me, I was here. But because of this honest miscommunication, I'm genuinely sorry. I truly apologize. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. உங்களுக்கு <laughs> 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 <laughs>